Hello and greetings from Steve at Federal Military Parts. Today we're going to be talking about one of our newer items that we've started manufacturing recently known as the Iron Curtain. But before we get to that, I wanted to talk a little bit about our Humvee X doors, also known as hard doors. We still have a fair number in stock, a few dozen at least. Um, as you probably know already, if you have recently purchased a Humvee, they are getting fewer and fewer of them in the marketplace, the doors that is. Now the reason for that, of course, is that a couple hundred Humvees get sold into the marketplace every week. So the supply of doors is dwindling and soon there will be none available. So at this point, what I want to do is take a minute and we're going to go over how to pick out a set of doors. And then after that, we'll move on to the Iron Curtain. Hello everybody, Steve at Federal Military Parts here. Again, we're going to be taking a look at this door here today, this uh, Humvee X door, and seeing what kind of uh, work it might take to get this thing fixed up, looking nice to hang it on your Humvee. Now, we're going to look at both sides of it. This is the easier side to work on, actually. Um, people tend to be really fussy when they look at these used doors and they think, gosh, there's a little hole right there, drilled some holes drilled in this door, and uh, they think it's junk or whatever. Um, holes like that are super easy to fix. They're super easy to plug. No big deal on drilled holes. However, when you start looking over here at this hinge on the other hand, there's a crack right there, and that's a stress fracture from this door bouncing up and down on a Humvee for a lot of years. So that's a bit problematic. It's no big deal at all if you're going to put a new door skin on it, like what we sell. A uh, piece of cake that'll be covered up, the door skin will make the door actually stronger than it ever was. Um, over here as well, this is, is a problematic area. Um, you've got some of the Kevlar that's actually poking through. Um, that definitely requires sanding in a really difficult area to work on. Um, you get a lot of stress fractures here in the corners of the windows as well. This one does not have any, but uh, that's a problem area for sure. Um, both hinges as well as the handle, uh, fairly cheap and easy to replace. Anybody can do that. Just pop out the screws and uh, in they go. And again, we sell all that stuff at Federal Military Parts. Um, you want to make sure, though, that the perimeter of the door is in good shape. If you've got problems on the perimeter, that is really difficult to replace. This piece here is all but unattainable to find anywhere. And also, when we look at the flip side, you want to make sure that your gasket is in good shape. Super difficult to replace and kind of expensive as well. So that's the, uh, the outside of the door. Glass, of course, pretty much everybody replaces the glass. We saw a lot of glass, be it uh, clear, tinted gray, tinted green, or ballistic glass. We've got all of it at Federal Military Parts. So we'll take a quick break here, flip this thing around, and uh, take a look at what you need to know about the other side of the door. Okay, we turned around here. Now we're going to look at the inside of this door. Um, what I immediately notice is that this cross piece right here, uh, which is also for the remote door handle right there, that is bent up pretty bad. Super common for that to be bent. Not that big of a concern because really this only has two screws on each side. It pops off. Anybody can pound it out on a piece of cement. Uh, not difficult to do at all. Um, you want to make sure that you've got all the pieces though. You know, you've got your window knob right here. You've got your door handle. Sometimes those are missing. And then pretty common also for these to be missing are your uh, window stops right here so that when you open the window, it slides down and it stops. So you gotta make sure that those aren't missing. And right here on the door handle, you've got this little latch wire, that mechanism right there, and that'll be missing pretty often as well. <coughs> These latches and everything else are fully uh, replaceable. You can find them either on eBay, you can find them on websites. Um, we sell them as well, and uh, very, very findable. You do wanna make sure, however, that you do have your actual window frame on any used doors you buy. Uh, very expensive part to replace the whole thing. It's not something you even want to really think about uh, uh, trying to replace unless you got the doors for next to nothing. Um, also, this rubber gasket, extremely difficult to replace and pretty expensive. Will cost you about $65 for a new gasket and a lot of work to replace. Um, so that's the inside of the door. Again, make sure that you've got all of these parts, handles, door handles, super easy to replace. And again, we sell them in the locking version, which you'll probably want to put on your vehicle anyway. Um, I don't know of anybody that's ever put on anything other than a locking door handle on your vehicle. So thank you for taking a look at that. And we're going to go take a peek at our new item, the Iron Curtain, 
next.